Acquiring the skill of consistently striking an arabesque accurately, that is, its shape and proportions, is a fairly straightforward endeavor of study and practice. Developing skill in rendering tone, however, is a completely different story. Rendering tone, or more accurately, constructing three-dimensional plasticity in form, is best learned by just watching and then imitating the additive subtractive process of adding pigment, pushing it around and lifting it out and repeating the process again and again until one has achieved a satisfactory result. In this demonstration DVD, I've chosen to work within the facial arena of a young woman. The facial arena offers a wide range of plastic treatment and we spend the greatest amount of time developing it. And rather than work with the usual happy, smiling portrait, I chose a scowling, accusatory expression. I did this for the sake of working with an unusual expression. It challenges and thus expands our skill set. Plus, it's fun. This is an informal DVD. I simply set up the camera in my studio and filmed myself drawing without any film crew. It's just you and me. I use Sanguine Conte for my drawing medium, and my paper is ivory-colored Fabriano Eng. This is a pretty small drawing. It's just a little under life size, which is what I recommend for your studies. Now, I don't recommend working larger than life size until you have a strong command of plastic form. Conversely, I also do not recommend that you work smaller. Your drawing should be about 5 to, well, absolutely no more than 6 inches in height, from the brow ridge to the chin. That said, let's now focus on the drawing and begin. We always begin with the nose. This will keep the face from growing on us. And so I'm going to quickly sketch this in. I'm going to make these lines a little bit heavier than I would normally simply so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just going to quickly sketch in that arabesque. I'm just going to plumb up, place my inner canthus to the eye, which is about here. And feel my way, and also the angle up, get the outer canthus. I'm just going to strike that arabesque. Get the shape two of the lower eyelid quickly to the crease. Of the eyelid. To the eyebrow. Now before I put in the iris, I want to establish the other eye. So I'm going to plumb up from the nose. The inner canthus is here. Because it's at because the face is at a tilt, it should be about right there. Maybe a little bit lower. So I'm just gonna It's lost in shadow, so I don't need to get that inner canthus articulated. To turn that sclera just a straight line. The lower lid of the eye. Let's go quickly place in that iris. Now I can get the crease of the eyelid. Keep the eye socket there. And 
Now, I've chosen a particularly expressive face to work with simply because it makes things much more interesting rather than just working with happy faces all the time. You want to have... I always feel it's better to have a full range. Okay, now I'm going to feel my way down the filtrum here. A piece of shadow comes here. And I want to get the interstice of the mouth. So I'm just feeling my way down. Let's see, opening the lower lip. Let's just get that. Work my way to the node, which lines about here. Feel my way down this nasolabial furrow to here. That's the other node, I believe. Striking this vermilion border. Seems to have a small little problem here. Easily fixed. That's why we keep our lines light. And just get the a very slight opening of the mouth here. Don't want to do that. And very lightly indicate the lower vermilion border. Could be worked a little bit better. And we'll just get the pillar of the mouth. You know. And once again, just talking your way through the anatomy really helps your drawing. You'll find just by naming these terms you'll be able to place and articulate them much more accurately. Now let's just go to the side of the face here to the chin. And then just a little bit here. One of the dangers of sticking with one element in a drawing such as my eye is that we can become obsessed on it and it, it will quickly get to the point where we can do no right. It will always look a bit off to us. And so this is why it is a good... <clears throat> so, and this is why it's a good practice to build out the drawing, build up all of the elements together. And so here I'm going to work down the eye here. I'm also going to go into the nose here. I'm not going to make a division here yet. I want to keep it still one tone. But I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Except Let's just fix that a bit here. Now I'm going to go back in my. Now I'm going to go back in with the Conte. I'm just going to f resurrect these lines again. Just just want to bring it up to the same level that I have the other eye. Here. And this eyebrow will come to here. And we'll just knock that down a bit here. Okay, just so work that in there. Mm, yeah, I'll get a little reflected light coming through here. This whole process is all about constructing form. 